9.33 is your time. Now to a Fox 5 exclusive. He's a TikTok crusader taking down one troll at a time. The man is a mystery to his more than 3 million followers, only seen in masks and in silhouette. This former Marine works with 20 of the best cyber sleuths in the world, targeting those who hurt others online. He goes by the name The Great Londini. And he's giving me his first TV interview, first for TV station in the United States. Early on Fox 5 Morning, we told you uh, how he does it. Now we want you to hear the reason, the tragic reason that led him to start this movement. And so he explained to us that he had checked his kid's phone and there was a group of about 10 kids that were harassing uh, his child who happened to be autistic. And he said, listen, I don't know what can be done. I don't know if it's any way we can try to track these kids down so that I can talk to their parents and let them know what their this bullying has done to them, my, my child. And obviously, I did what I could. I created my first TikTok account. And I said, OK, well, let's see how this could possibly be done. I quickly realized it was a lot more difficult because I, I'm, not, I'm not really familiar or I wasn't really familiar with social media at the time. Mm -hmm. So I grabbed a bunch of my closest friends and who are all in the cybersecurity industry and who have a little bit more experience with social media. And then uh, that's kind of how the whole thing formed. What's the message that you send to parents considering you can't be at every corner of the internet? Yeah, it's just you, you have to have a plan. Um, a lot of parents are concerned with, you know, their kids driving a car, they're concerned with how they act when they're out in public. But one of the things that we don't ever talk to our children about, or we don't seem to be talking to our children about, is what's the proper way to act on the internet. And that goes from both ways. Or what happens when you get bullied? What happens if your child is the one bullying? Yeah. Um, I always am a big fan of you know planning for success, or and then executing that plan, right? So I think that's the major message: is that we can't keep looking at the internet as just this faraway thing that where nobody's attached to it. We lost 6,000 children to suicide in 2019. And if the numbers continue on their rate that they're going, we're going to lose more. I have religiously studied every rule within TikTok and Instagram and YouTube. So the best reason I've been given by TikTok was uh, I'm a violent extremist or I'm endangering children. And then their most popular one is harassment and bullying. So the shorter answer for that is I, I don't know why we've been banned because none of the reasons have ever been uh, have ever aligned with the content. Right. Um, I think it has a lot to do that TikTok they don't want to be they don't want these issues pointed out as far as the bullying and they want to handle it themselves. Yeah. And personally, I would love to walk away if I woke up tomorrow and I didn't get 3D or 30,000 messages or uh, mentions about somebody being harassed and all of it went away. I just yeah. I'd back up and I'd be like, cool. Uh, and we should mention uh, there are two parts to this. We, the first one we aired earlier this morning, and it explains uh, how exactly he does this and why his one rule is he doesn't want people to bully the bully. In, terms, uh, uh, in other words, no bullying all the way around. Mm -hmm. So it's interesting to me because he's very adamant, especially in your first part, about you know he doesn't like that people can be anonymous right. and, and do bully. And yet he's totally anonymous. Yeah, so he, so does, it, he does it for his own safety. Because mm -hmm. people have tried to track him down, people who he's, but he's tracking people who's down. He, who he's tracked down mm -hmm. because of their cyberbullying. Mm -hmm. He gets in touch with law enforcement. Mm -hmm. he, if it's a child, he'll tell their parents. Uh, and another key thing here, and this is the difference between what he's doing and what other people would like to do with him, mm -hmm. is that he doesn't expose them to the public, right? He says, I have three million followers. So to expose my three million followers to them would put their lives in danger. And he says, I don't want to kill a fly with a sledgehammer. Mm. I want them to be held accountable. And so he'll go to the, to the authorities if it warrants that or to a parent. Interestingly enough, he says sometimes parents are like, thank you so much for letting me know mm. what my child did. Other times it's mind your business. Yeah. Is I'm he not looking surprised at that. Um, getting help at some point? Because he has a lot, you know, doing all of this right. by himself. So he has about 300 people on his team who uh, look through these three to 4,000 mentions see. that he gets per day. And mm -hmm. then he also has these 20 cybersecurity experts who okay. also help him track well, down Well, I like people. the scary mask and all that. I think it's just part of uh, the attention, right? I mean, it, it gets people's attention when he wears this, this dramatic mask. Mm -hmm. But uh, And the three to four million followers that he has now, he managed to get that in three to four months because this is the fourth account he's had to open because they've been shut down before. Wow. So the interest is there. But the message hopefully has been received.